Hi, I'm TJ the Rose Man. Today I'm at the University Park World Peace Rose Garden, and today we're doing some composting and putting some fertilizer down for spring. But it's also a wonderful time to check your pH. The significance of pH is pH runs readings run from 0 to 14. For roses, the ideal pH is from about 5.5 to 7. That's what I found. And this meter right here, I got my little hand right here, it's got a little point on it right there, is you want to break the soil, break the crust of the soil, so you can, when you insert it in the soil, it goes in real easily. And the importance of that is if it, you have to press it in the soil real hard, then you could damage this pointer and, and ruin your, uh, your pH meter. So this one's a Kelway product. It's very, very accurate. runs almost $100. But in many cases, if you're worrying about your pH in your garden and you don't have a, a pH meter, there are some inexpensive ones that do work well. On the other hand, if you belong to a garden club, normally someone in your garden club has got a pH meter. And you just let no, someone know, hey, I'd like to have my soil tested. And they'll loan you a pH meter. And you just plug in the soil. And you take a reading and go from there. Now, if, if you need an adjustment, you, the lime will help raise your pH. And your sulfur over here will help lower your pH to help get it in. Now, once you make any adjustments with any of these products here, you don't you, you, you allow some time to wait. You just don't make, just put your meter in right away and say, oh, what, did, what adjustment make? Sometimes you allow a month or two for the soil to settle down and then make any further adjustments from there. So my, my advice is check your pH, and if you make any adjustments, there are directions how much to use to raise your pH depending on the type of soil you have on the back of these boxes. But the important thing to me is don't make adjustments uh, right one after another. You want to make, make, apply your product, and then sit back, relax for a couple months, and then do a retest after that time. Let things settle in. Okay, here we go. You can see the needle sitting right on seven, right between the green and the red. That's a seven. And the one at the opposite end is a three. So I'm going to put it in the soil, just like this, nice. And just press it in. We've loosened the soil a little bit. And then we're going to watch the needle, see what it does. Now, if that, if that pH was over here at number 8 or it was over here at number 3, then we get so high, too alkaline or too acid, then you end up where you put nutrients on and your plants don't respond. You say, hey, I got lousy plants. Sometimes it's not lousy plants. Sometimes it's the soil pH, and that's why it's good to check that.